Jeff Linder coached the Northern Colorado Bears between 2016 and 2020. He was named the Big Sky Coach of the Year in the 2018-2019 season. Among doing research for this video, what stuck out to me was his defensive tendencies. Now, Northern Colorado, of course, they're in the Big Sky. They aren't a mid-major powerhouse, such as Gonzaga is on an annual basis or Dayton or San Diego State was this season. Thus, his coaching may fly under the radar. Lindner allowed the least amount of three points attempted against as well as the least amount of points off of three pointers. Today, I'm going to introduce to you both the coaching strategies of Linder at Northern Colorado as well as what he will bring to the Mountain West as he was named the coach of the Wyoming Cowboys this offseason. Firstly, the basics. Linder runs a system of man which he relies heavily on on-ball defense. This limits the amount of switching, which would lessen mismatches on the perimeter. Help defense is very rarely applied, which means that larger centers with solid footwork can have their way in the post as double teams very rarely come. We can see this exhibited in number 14 for Gardner Webb. He gets a one-on-one -on -one against the rim and uses his size to overpower the defender who does not receive any help in the post. Purse Energy Northern Colorado was in the 36th percentile in allowing post-ups. Kerr Jokic is the starting center for their team. He's quite lanky at 220 and 6'9", and although he's classified as a forward, he guarded the post for the majority of the games. Watch Jokic here as he forces a turnover in the deep post. His reliance on footwork rather than his size makes it so the post isn't a means for the other team to win every game against such an undersized big. These post-ups generally only occur on a set play as Northern Colorado is very good at transition defense. They're in the 93rd percentile for allowing transition opportunities and they're in the 86th percentile for transition opportunity scoring. Although runners are always common, their impressive transition defense limits the possibility of an outlet pass to a one-on-one -on -one matchup in the post. The idea of principal play continues as Linder has bears one of the top quadrant teams of defensive plays ending in fouls at around 20%. This is a team which relies on getting to its spot and sticking with their man rather than using size to overpower, which a team like Duke or Memphis is known to do. Watch number two get around the screen and force the low percentage contested layup. This is a shot that you can live with and it's a difficult one which the man defense forces. In addition to this, an open shooter generally opens up second chance points, which the Bears are good at preventing. The lack of switching allows the defender to stay with and box out their man, leading to Northern Colorado being the 17th best in the country at preventing offensive rebounds. This prevents putbacks and the offensive rebounder passing out of the post to an open shooter. Watch here as multiple Bears corral on the rebound. Northern Colorado allowed a nationwide low 13.2 three-point attempts per game last season, which is a whole attempt less than the runner-up. The man defense used by Linder is key to this. Watch here as the closeout on the three prevents the attempt. Screens are very rarely, if ever, switched. These screens are fought under, which leads to a lot of mid-rangers by the opposition being shot. Watch here as the screen is gone under and the mid-range is missed by the opposition. The defense that is played is not very physical, which lessens the amount of fouls drawn by the opposing offense. Man defense lessens the amount of steals, with the steals occurring within man occurring within the passing lanes. This is generally due to good awareness by the offender rather than positioning by Linder himself. Going under the screen puts a lot of pressure on your other teammates to play solid defense on their men and a lack of help leads to an expectation of the on-ball defender to have quickness to guard the pick and roll ball handler if a screen is set. This is something that Linder has struggled with as the Bears are in the 30th percentile for scoring off of the PNR ball handler but of course 2 is worth less than 3 and this defensive scheming forces the opposing offense to shoot such lower scoring shots. Threes are still shot though and made at about an average rate by this opposing offense. One of the most dangerous shots against the Bears is that of the step back three or shooting off of motion. Man defense prevents many shooters from getting open, thus the ball handler would have to create their own offense unassisted. Watch Williams here shoot off of the motion. Allowing too much space in the corner may lead to an open corner three shot as well. 
In summary, instead of daring a team to shoot threes, Northern Colorado dares teams to drive and shoot a mid-ranger or drive to the rim. This has worked quite well to their advantage as they are a defensive anomaly. We will see if Leonard can continue his impressive coaching at Wyoming, which is a much worse defensive team. Wyoming has only won one NCAA tournament game this millennium, and we'll see if Leonard's success can translate 100 miles north to the campus. Thank you so much for watching. This is my first video, and I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please provide any suggestions down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more college basketball-related content.